Hi, welcome to Biostock. We're all familiar with the Trojan horse, deployed by the Greeks to defeat the Trojans in Greek mythology. Well, Asgard Therapeutics has developed its own immune Trojan horse to defeat cancer. The company has recently announced a 30 million euro Series A financing to advance its cell reprogramming platform. Joining me in the studio to tell us more about this is the company's CEO and co-founder, Christiana Pires. Welcome, Christiana. Thank you. Well, it's nice to have you here. Um, it's a pleasure. Uh, well, first, could you give us just a brief history of Asgard Therapeutics? Yeah, sure. So Asgard Therapeutics is a Swedish company, right? We are here based in Lund. Um, and we focus on pioneering in vivo cell reprogramming for cancer immunotherapy. And the company is a spin-off from Lund University, started end of 2018. Uh, and we had the seed financing in 2021 and now recently the Series A financing. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, well, you mentioned cell reprogramming. I'm very curious to know a little bit more about how that works and uh, how your lead candidate can in, in, in some way be considered a, an immune Trojan horse. <laughs> Yeah, so when we talk about cell reprogramming, we really talk about manipulating cell identity, <clears throat> which means that in reality we can change one cell type to become a different cell type if we play with the gene signatures and the genes that are expressed or not expressed in a given cell type, mm -hmm. right? And we do this by controlling um, their gene expression with transcription factors, right, or reprogramming factors. And what Asgard is pioneering is actually moving a cell reprogramming approach that usually has been done in vitro in the lab to generate cells to do it actually in vivo directly inside the patient's body, mm -hmm. right, to recreate the immune cells we want in the patient, right? And our lead program, the AT108, mm -hmm. it's in reality, it's an off-the-shelf gene therapy product that if we administer into the tumors of the patient can really reprogram the tumor cells of their own patient to become immune cells that activate the immune system against themselves. Mm -hmm. And that's why it is inspired in a Trojan horse uh, mythology because we are using the cancer to kickstart a response against itself, so to kill itself. Is this concept considered a type of uh, personalized therapy? Yeah, that's a really good point. So one of the beauties of the approach is that instead of having generating each cell therapy autologous or specific for each patient mm -hmm. in, in the lab and then re-engineering those cells and putting it back into the patient's body, as for example with the CAR T cell therapies, right? The autologous CAR T cell therapies, we bypass all this and can do it directly inside the patients, mm -hmm. which means we can have an off-the-shelf product, which has a much more uh, easy manufacturing, much more favorable costs and logistics, mm -hmm. but we still can keep the personalized approach mm -hmm. because the cells are actually induced inside the patient's body, meaning they are their own patient cells. And in the particular case of the AT108, mm -hmm. the cell type we are inducing is a dendritic cell. Mm -hmm. And a dendritic cell is an antigen-presenting cell that actually presents the antigens in a professional way with all the machinery to activate these cell responses. And of course, in our case, the antigens that are presented are the antigens of that specific patient, right? Mm -hmm. And so the immune response that is elicited, it is personalized, mm -hmm. yes. Because I guess cancer itself has ways to, to get around this uh, in, in, in general terms, right? Yeah, so that, that's indeed true. So the, um, when we were trying to establish this in vivo reprogramming, we, the main concept was how can we use this to really tackle mm -hmm. immune evasion mechanisms of cancer, right? The way cancer has to avoid mm -hmm. all the immune system surveillance. And one critical issue has been until now that tumors downregulate or block the presence of antigen presenting cells or molecules, right? This is a normal mechanism that have, cancer has to become invisible in a way, right? Mm -hmm. And so to bypass this, we were really inspired by the cells in our body that are the most efficient cells on antigen presentation. Mm -hmm. And this is a dendritic cell 
defined subset that we are inducing with our AT108 to really make the tumor now become a professional antigen presenting cell. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, okay, so at, at, the, at the outset I mentioned uh, this uh, Series A financing, uh, 30 million euro, congratulations, Thank uh, you. uh, by the way. And, and it's co-led by uh, uh, players like RV Invest, and Johnson & Johnson Innovation, JJDC, uh, but you also have participation from existing uh, investors like Novo Holdings, Beringer, Beringer Ingelheim Venture Fund, and Industry Fonden. Um, first of all, how will the funds be used? Yeah, so that's a great question. So until now for the lead program, the AT108, mm -hmm. we have provided proof of concept for the candidate, mm -hmm. right? So we have shown both in primary tissue, so in ex vivo models, but also in vivo using animal models that uh, AT108 works, that we reprogram the tumors, we induce this antigen presenting cell phenotype and function, and we can kickstart really efficient anti-tumor immunity. And so based on this, now the 30 million euro uh, financing will take the lead program up to IND readiness. So it supports the CMC up to GMP manufacturing, mm -hmm. as well as the completion of the IND enabling studies, including the safety and, and tox regulatory package. So we can be ready to take the lead program to first in human clinical trials. Mm -hmm. And apart from that, the financing will also support the expansion of the team and also associated with the pipeline development. So we have other programs that we will be exploring mm -hmm. in terms of other modalities of delivery, but also other reprogramming modalities that we are wanting to explore more. Mm, very interesting. And uh, when can you expect to reach uh, IND readiness? Yeah, so this is planned at the moment to two and a half, three years yeah. from now, okay. yes. Um, so, well, how does it feel to have such strong backing for, for this project? Yeah, so I think me, myself and also the team are really proud of the achievement so far. I think, you know, if we reflect back on what was critical to get us to this stage, I would highlight the uniqueness of the approach. Mm -hmm. Um, so in vivo reprogramming has never been demonstrated before, never tested in the clinical setting. So this has the potential to really be a first in class approach, but also the really solid data package we have been building over the years, mm -hmm. right? With the robust demonstration of the proof of concept. And for example, we have uh, in vivo uh, experiment really demonstrating that we can induce complete responses even in tumors that are not T cell inflamed, so co tumors, mm -hmm. we can induce in monotherapy setting, we can induce partial to complete responses. Mm -hmm. So the data is also really solid, and I think that uh, allowed us to get to this point that we have this strong backing from investors. And of course, we believe that this is, will be something that we want to continue nurturing this support and expand to uh, additional players later on, sure. investors or partners. Yeah. Well, everything sounds very promising. So uh, my last question is uh, to go to come full circle here. Uh, the Trojan War lasted 10 years um, and it took this Trojan horse for the Greeks to beat the Trojans. Is your concept going to be um, the, the, the thing that puts the nail in the coffin for cancer? Yeah, well, that's what we strongly believe, right? Mm -hmm. That's why we are working towards. And the ambition is to be the first company bringing an immunotherapy mm -hmm. to the patients that is based on this cell reprogramming concept. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, even beyond the lead program, right, we are doing this stepwise. The lead program will be the first demonstration that this can be done. Mm -hmm. But then there's other things we can explore, other engineerings of cells we can do to induce anti-tumor responses. Mm -hmm. But there's even a scope beyond that that then will open because depending on the functional features we induce in the cells, we can manipulate immune responses for other angles, for example, for uh, anti-immunity, mm -hmm. autoimmunity, sorry. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. So a lot going on at Asgard Therapeutics. Yep. Uh, well, thank you so much, Christiana, for, for joining me in the studio today. And uh, we look forward to hearing more from, As from Asgard in the future. Thank you.